Hello, my dear sweet people, and welcome to an irresistible video that I had to do, which is the predictor for the Euro 2020, considering I've seen. So we have all the groups here, and we're going to try to predict who is going to win based on who I think is going to qualify. So let's start with Group A without further ado. We got Switzerland, Turkey, Wales, and Italy. So, okay, Italy is probably going to win this group, let's just be honest. Here, I think Switzerland is going to take second, Turkey third, Wales fourth. I think this is a very justifiable ranking here. I don't think Wales is going to make it through, regardless of what people might think, but we shall see. I think this is a pretty fair ranking, considering maybe Turkey will get second over Switzerland, but we will see. Then we got Russia, Belgium, Denmark, and Finland. Well, here I'm going to put Finland in fourth. Belgium in first, and Russia or Denmark, Russia or Denmark, going to get Denmark second, and Russia third, I think that might be a fair judgment, we, we shall see, anyway, it is what it is, but it is what I predict, I think, and we got Group C with Austria, North Macedonia, Ukraine, and the Netherlands, on paper, we know what's going to happen, theoretically, these two are sorted out. Here, I'll favor the Ukraine, who have a very, very interesting team as well, and Austria, to be third. Maybe Austria will qualify as one of the thirds, as well as Turkey, or, yeah, Turkey. Eh, we'll say that. Anyway, these are the first three groups. Moving on to Group D. So in Group D, we have Scotland, England, Croatia, and the Czech Republic. Of course, everyone favors England here to win. Scotland are complete outsiders for me. I think Croatia's aging team in contrast with the Czech Republic's younger team, but they have a lot of experience and good players too. Can't just run them out like that, but they will be a good third as well to go through, I think. This is Group D, England, Czech Republic, Croatia, and Scotland. Then we have Poland, Spain, Sweden, and Slovakia. Slovakia, I'm, sh I'm sorry, Spain, Poland, Sweden. I think this one, I might be totally wrong here, of course, in any of my predictions, but this is what I believe it's going to happen in that group. Spain first, Poland second, Sweden third, Slovakia fourth. Right? All right. Then the group of death, the group where my nation, Portugal, I am Portuguese, but I'm not going to be favoring Portugal just because. It is what it is, but it's so tough. Hungary can very well make it out. I don't know, but theoretically speaking, this is what I believe it's going to happen. Honestly. I'm going to put Portugal third, maybe go through as a third, France, Germany, Portugal. Because these, these two teams versus Portugal, we have a bad, bad repertoire, even though our team is a little bit better. And it's going to be very hard to beat Portugal, I believe. But France and Germany, man freaking scary then we got the four best third place teams to go through i would say portugal croatia turkey probably russia probably or even austria well, austria eh. Nah, maybe, maybe Russia. I mean, it is a prediction. All right, let's go to the knockout stage with our third. And in the round of 16, we have the last 16. We have Belgium, Croatia, Italy, Ukraine, France, Russia, Czech Republic, Poland, Spain, Turkey, England, Germany, Netherlands, Portugal, Switzerland, and Denmark. All right. At least according to these predictions. Here, between these two, I think Belgium, who was currently ranked first and has a lot of a lot of power, a great Lukaku, I mean, in the form of his life, I just think that they're going to go through. Belgium, Croatia, I would say Belgium. But you never know. Croatia have a very good team as well. Very sneaky, very experienced. Here, I think Italy is just going to go through. Even though the Ukraine are not going to be an easy, an easy dish to face, they're just going to go through. France, Russia. France, I think if this happens, if this comes to be, France is 
Probably gonna smash Russia, I think. Might be wrong, but that's what I believe, to be honest. Czech Republic versus Poland here. That's a tough one. That's almost like a coin toss. I'm gonna to go for current reputation, worldwidely speaking. And Poland have a good record overall. I'm gonna say Poland are gonna go through the quarterfinals to face France. Spain, Turkey, Spain is gonna win. I think Luis Enrique is just not gonna lose, like, easily for sure. And I just don't know. England versus Germany. Now, this is another coin toss. Who would I favor here to win? I want to go, like, overall. England are going to have a lot of pressure, right? This game is going to be in Wembley. There's going to be a lot of pressure for England. I'm not sure that these young English players, as talented as they are, they're going to actually be able to handle Germany. I think Germany is going to go through. And look at that. If that happens, that's going to be quite the clash. Here, Netherlands and Portugal. The Netherlands have a very, very amazing team. Portugal has a very amazing team. I don't know. I think Portugal might sneak this one. I don't know. I don't want to be biased here. I, not at all. Who cares? It's a prediction. But uh, Netherlands and Portugal. Netherlands and Portugal. If I can go either way, depending. I think Portugal might have a little bit more something, something there to offer. I'll say Portugal. Here, I'll say Switzerland. Switzerland and Denmark. I think Switzerland will take this from Denmark. I think they're a good team. And they will go through. And then we have the quarterfinals. Where we have Belgium versus Italy. France versus Poland. Spain versus Germany. Portugal versus Switzerland. Hello. Alright, so, well, let's start with the easy one. Here I think Portugal will sneak that win. I think so. Honestly. I don't know how they made it so far there in the semifinals. It's like, oh my god, your favorite port. No, I'm not. It's just what I believe. Here is Spain and Germany. Considering the, re the recent fixture they had against each other, and again, Luis Enrique on the bench for me, I think Spain will freaking win. Yeah, and you know what's gonna happen next? Belgium and Italy. Hmm. I'm sorry, Belgium. I think you will fail in these moments. I think so. I have to say Italy. Here, France, Poland, I have to say France. If this comes to be, it's in Italy, France, and in Spain, Portugal. It's like super rivalries. Jesus. I picked all the Latinos. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, here, Spain, Portugal. I'm sorry, Portugal, but Spain is just gonna win. I think so. If this happens, I don't I don't think I don't think we're gonna win. We had a 0-0 recently, and Spain had way more volume of game in my eyes. I just don't see his speeding Spain in a context like that. Italy and France, this is going to be like one of those, everyone is going to bleed out to find the winner. But I would say France will take it. Oh my god, and here we go. France or Spain. France or Spain in the final. France is France. Winning everything recently, as we know. They just were beat by Portugal in the miraculous final. And Portugal doesn't even know how to how they beat them in the Euro 2016. And we got Spain. Spain, 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 Spain. If I go for attack, I think France has something more. But if the manager goes all loco with Griezmann and shit, they're they're fucked. I don't know. Luis Enrique. I think so. Boom. I think that the Euro 2020 winners then will be Spain. I guess this is what I predicted anyway. It might go all the way the other way. It might be England beating Germany. Who knows? But I don't know. I don't know. I just think Spain might have a little bit something, something. Italy might actually beat France. I don't know. Depends. Belgium might beat Italy. A lot of stuff can happen. It is my prediction anyway. So, Spain to win it in the final against France in Wembley, right? Yup, on the 12th of July, whenever that happens, we'll see. Portugal falling in the semis as well as Italy. See if, if that happens, let me know what you think in the comment section. This is my prediction. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. A little bit of a different video, just to warm us up for what's coming. And we shall see what happens. Adios, guys. Bye.